What it is, guys, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with another real quick Dokkan Battle video. Now, today, we're talking about Ultimate Clash, and I realize I've had a note <laughs> to make this video all week, and we've been doing so much other stuff, I've not had an opportunity. So, we're going to talk about the uh, LR Oob that drops with us separately. I've got the damage dust and all that coming for him, but that's going to be a whole separate thing. This, on the other hand, this one's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've done the past two, this one should be fairly easy in comparison, but let's talk about what you need to do to prepare for this, okay? This first stage, Strength Lude, that should very be very, very easy with the, uh, the Ginyu Force team. If you don't have physical Ginyu from the, uh, from the, the Baba Shop with your previous Battlefield memory, definitely get him. Um, he completes that team, works on that team just fine, completes that team, and you can use them in here as a standalone team without any additions or anything like that. Absolutely perfect. Nothing to worry about there. Okay? Second, Extreme uh, AGL Metal Roldo. Or Hyper Metal Roldo. Anyway, I just created a very basic tech team to take that out. Should be no sweat. I'm not losing sleep over that unit. He doesn't do anything special. Uh, he just can't be stunned or sealed. But this early in the match, it don't matter. Okay? After that, we have Extreme Int Super Baby 2. Now, he can't be stunned or sealed, and I didn't mention Rolo, or Lude can't be stunned either. He can't be stunned or sealed, and he cannot be his attack and defense cannot be reduced, but once again, in level 1, it don't matter. Make a Fizz team. I made an Extreme Fizz team, and I'm going to take the Extreme Fizz team on that. In fact, my tactic is going to be to make a mono team for everyone except for Lude, and then save my Super Teams for later on in the fight, in case my extreme teams just don't cut it. Because everything here is going to be extreme type. So the temptation is to obviously use your super types here, but don't. Create a model team for each one of these, uh, both super and extreme, and then save your super team for later on in the match. Before, before we only had 100 slots, now we got 112, so you can create two entire extra teams. Super handy. So... Should have no problems with that. I've got uh, one team of each type. That's obviously Super STR, uh, Extreme STR, etc., etc., etc. So that's 10 teams right there. That's 77 units. You've got so much more you can do than just start building t uh, a couple of the category teams on top of that. I've got Patara. I've got Super Saiyan 3. I've got uh, Fusion, Realm of Gods, and Ginyu Force. That pretty much does it. So... That's five teams. Anyway. It's... You get the concept. There's... I think I, there's one team I didn't mention, I don't think. But anyway, irrelevant. That gives you an idea of what I've got. Basically, I don't think I'm ever going to need those uh, those other teams, but I've got them there just in case. Because the last thing you want to do is be caught with your pants down. You know what I mean? So, let's move on to level two. Level two is... <clears throat> First one is Extreme Physical Dr. Garo. Now, Dr. Giro, he does like 19 did last time. He will absorb key blasts. So for that one, I built an Extreme Strength Team that's all non-key based. All their attacks are uh, physical attacks. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show that off here in just a second. Uh, but that's really the only major... Uh, kind of modifier there to that. Now, uh, Extreme Tech Dr. Mew, once again, just can't be stunned or sealed. No big deal. I should mention Dr. Uh, Dr. Garrow can't be stunned or sealed either, uh, but like I said, he'll heal with uh, Key Blast, so just address that and you'll be fine. Okay? Third stage, Super 17. Okay? AGL Super 17. He can be stunned, he cannot be sealed, uh, he cannot have his attack reduced, and he's got extra defense against tech types, because obviously he's an AGL type. Now, I'm pretty much guessing I'm going to take my super tech team in there and see what they can do. If they can't do the job, and I'm not really certain because I haven't run it yet, then I'll just take one of my, one of my uh, category teams, and they'll wipe it out. It'll be no big deal. Level 2 shouldn't be that big a deal. Basically, all he's doing is he's making sure that the units that normally get major boosts against him are kind of nullified. So your your fight might be a little little bit more difficult there. You just basically lose type advantage. So, but once again, 
If you built that team up right, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay? Level 3. Level 3 is interesting. Okay? None of these units can be stunned or sealed. Alright? We'll start with Nova Shenron. A super physical Nova Shenron. Uh, I am pretty much saving my super strength theme for this. Uh, his attack cannot be reduced. His defense cannot be reduced. And he will do two super attacks per turn. Now... If you've got Vegeta, the LR Vegeta, and the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the LR, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku, this should be no problem. Just keep them on either, one, either, either turn, and they'll probably they have a pretty good chance of actually countering one of those super attacks. No big deal. Plus, if you've got any of the really good tanks, like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, throw them on there. The, you're not going to have any problems in this whatsoever. It's going to be fine. That's my tactic for that. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Ice Cold Warrior, uh, Int, uh, Ice Shenron. Now, Ice Shenron can't be stunned or sealed, like we said before, and he will, wheel, he will stun, uh, or I'm sorry, he will seal someone on your team every turn. I hate that. It's super annoying, but once again, my Super Fizz team should just melt that event. Um, ain't worried about it. It's not one of those things that I'm going to lose sleep over. Okay? So, the only thing that does suck is he will get off two super attacks. And he does have the opportunity to... Yeah. To stun your unit if the super attack lands. That sucks. But hopefully you, the super attack doesn't hit before you can hit. So, if he does stun... By the time they get back up there, it's it. Just know if you get hit by a super attack, it's gonna hurt and it's just gonna stun your unit. But by the time they come back up, the stun will be nullified anyway. Just kind of be aware of that situation. If you have units with a lot of, because I'm thinking, you know, my super fizz for this. My super fizz doesn't have a lot of um, evasion. Some of my extreme fizzes do, but I think my super fizz is a better team. So that's just what I'm going to take there. Now, once again, if that don't work, then I've got, you know, uh, some other teams, Rumble Gods and all that, that have a little bit higher dodge mechanic in some of those units. So it's just what my team is going to be capable of doing. So be aware of that stun and that he'll do double super attacks. That's basically a double stun every turn, and that could hurt. So that is a little bit intimidating. I haven't been through it yet, but we'll uh, go talk about it here in just a minute. Okay. Strength Omega Shenron is your final unit here. Can't be stunned, can't be sealed, can't reduce attack, can't reduce uh, damage, or can't reduce attack, can't reduce uh, defense, and he will stick your units. Someone is going to get stuck in, in the spot. You know, you just can't move them around. I forget what you specifically call that, but we all know it's the little thing with the arrow and it's super annoying. Nothing you can really do about that, but once again... You know, I've got a really amazing Super AGL team that I'm not so... I'm not concerned about that whatsoever, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this event, okay? I'm going to go ahead and confirm my team here. Confirm. 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 Love load times. And we'll go do loot real quick, and we'll run through a couple of these, and then we'll call it there. I may uh, edit in later the, some of the other ones that we do, but... I think for right now, pretty straightforward what we're working on here. You know, there's not really any any major mystery. All right, Ginyu Force team. Boom. And this is really straightforward. Uh, I am using Physical Ginyu as a subleader. There probably are better subleaders you could throw on here, but he's going to be fine. He's going to do just fine. Um, these first units generally are not very tough at all. And this is a really good team, so... In fact, you could probably throw Dragon Ball Seekers on here. I didn't even think about that until now, because Dragon Ball Seekers has a couple of really stellar units on there that would just tear this apart. But you could also probably save them for, for the next level. I don't know what to tell you there. But see, look at this. Uh, Physical Ginyu already has all of his key. I'm not going to be worried at all about him doing his job. Boom, we're getting a U-Super with him. And uh, Birder is just going to kind of do what Birder does. 
So now the only downside is obviously Lude being a strength type and the other Ginyu being a physical. Last thing we want to do is put him in a situation where he could get super attacked. But the Int one does do some tanking, so it's not something I'm going to lose my sleep over. All right. Oof, he did like nothing. But he also didn't take much damage, so that's good news. All right, Birder. AGL type. Hit for almost a million. That's not so bad. All right. Now, he, remember, he cannot be stunned. So for me, that means that Goldo is utterly pointless here. So I'm going to move Goldo off to the end. I'm going to use this Ginyu. Give him a use super if I can. Yep. And then I'm going to feed up uh, Raccoon. And Goldo's just going to be Goldo. I'm not worried about him. All right. So this use super should be pretty nice. Let's see what it does. Oh, yeah. Took him apart. Took him absolutely apart. That's kind of what I thought would happen. Now, once again, Raccoon is at a bit of a disadvantage. So he's only going to hit for like 150k, if even that. Yeah, see. Didn't take a lot of damage, though. That's good news. All right. And this turn. All right, where is the super attack happening? No super attacks at all? Okay. Well, I'm going to put Ginyu up at the front. I'm going to give him a U super one more time. And hopefully this is the last rotation. I think this might be. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, the next one's going to wipe him out. But a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have a lot of Fizz on this team. And obviously it's being like a pure rainbow team. Has its ups and downs. Oh, we're getting... Okay, no, no, no. I thought we were going to need second attack now. <laughs> Their animations are so alike. In fact, this animation is like perfectly identical to the Goku Ginyu, just with Goku in the end, there on the end instead of Ginyu. All right, Jace, do it. Yeah, there we go. All done. Kind of a wimpy team, but... You know, that's... It's all you really need for this event. Okay? So the next one is uh, Hyper Metal Roldo, and he's got nothing really special going on about him either. He's very simply put, just just can't be stunned or sealed. Okay. Now, uh, interesting point is uh, loot can be sealed. He cannot be stunned, but he can be sealed. So that is a distinct possibility there. I don't know how much. So the more I'm looking at it and thinking about it, the reason he can't be stunned, kind of just to make it a little more challenging for that team, they're probably expecting you to take the Guinea Force team there. Because remember, there's no real sealers on that team. There's only the stunner, and that is... Uh, I'm going to take extreme int here. Cancel all that out. Boom. The only stunner is Goldo, so... Alright. So, I'm going to use him as my lead. I'm going to use him as my sub-lead. Everybody else here is just going to fill in the blanks. And I am not taking the LR, because I need him for my Realm of Gods team. So, that's going to be fine. I got two 120 leads... Let's, let's just take this apart. Let's just rip this an absolute new one. This team is probably way too OP for this event, but that's fine. Overkill is at least still a kill, you know? All right, so I have a nuker up here on the end, and he does a pretty decent job of tanking, but I think I still want to put, yeah, put Swamp Thing there. All right, Swamp Thing's not going to do a whole lot, but, uh, shoot. His is per tech key, isn't it? I think it's per tech key. If it's per any key, I'm fine. But if it's per tech key, then I'm... Oh, per sphere, per sphere obtained. Okay, perfect. So even rainbow spheres count. Awesome. So, that'll be good for him. Just means Freeze is not getting a super attack. And that's frankly okay. He's got enough double attack in him. It may happen, it may not. Who knows? Okay. Now, Swamp Thing's not impressive, but the best part about him is the fact that he uh, he actually has a lot of evasion in him, case in point. So, if the super attack happens, he can avoid that. Okay. 1.2 mil attack stat, not the best. But he crit for almost 3 mil, so it's very respectable. All right. 
And I think my quality's turned down over here. It looks, it looks really grainy. I apologize for that. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. All right. So I'm going to put him off to the end as well because the last thing I want him to do is get hit and nuke uh, his passives, but at the same rate... Nah, okay. So I don't think I really have a choice here. I'm going to do that. He'll take a little bit of damage, but we'll at least get hits attack off, and that's really, really important here. All right. Okay, he didn't take much damage at all. Good news. 1.34 mil. He is rainbowed, so hopefully he'll get a crit. And if we're super lucky, he'll get a double crit. 2.36 mil. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wish I could have given him more more orbs, but we just didn't have it in the budget. Um, I could have squandered a uh, hit, but I really was kind of banking on uh, Broly with only three orbs, not really taking a huge amount of damage. So... As you can see, nothing really scary, nothing really straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this up to, um, well, we'll see how far we go. Thus far, it's not been very challenging. We'll see how far we get. All right. This is Extreme Int. I'm going to bring in my Extreme Fizz team. Pretty straightforward. Wait for everything to load. <laughs> Love these load times. Love these load times. All right. Warning. Super Baby 2. Okay. And once again, it tells you you cannot reduce his attack or his defense. But we ain't worried about that. Because this team is already super crazy OP. Alright. So I'm going to bring him as the lead. And I believe he is 70%. Is and he is movie bosses. And he's not a type. Yeah, he's full power. Now, the good news is, let's see, I don't think he's full power, is he? He is full power. He's not full power, though. He, I know he's not full power, because he's literally not the full power of that unit. Um, is Cooler full power? it make a difference here. He is not. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and use the Frieza. Um, because most of these units are not full power. Had I planned it out, I probably could have done a full power team, but that's okay. The 120 plus the 70 will be more than enough for this event. We're level 1. I don't need to worry about overkill. So I ain't gonna. Ain't gonna. Yeah. Alright. Okay, and you see this team actually is really, really, really good. Uh, mostly because of his, uh, his passive is absolute killer. All right. So one key, one key, and then we'll drop down three key and then we'll wait for this next rotation to come up. Yes. I did put Goku black off to the end because, uh, cooler and Frieza link up so absolutely well. 1.38 mil. Beautiful. I wish you'd have gotten a super there, my man, but that's I. Okay. Not going to lose sleep over that. Oh, we he only hit for... for <laughs> hilarious! Hilarious, Super Baby 2. Hilarious. Alright, 1.4 mil. Can we double crit on this one? Do a double... Not even a crit. Team, come on. Now, he's mostly on here for support. He's not going to hit that well. Uh, I say as he is for a million, but... To me, I don't think that's very impressive anymore in this game. Okay, once again, Sin Shenron and Omega go together because uh, they're awesome. Boom, boom, and we get a little bit of healing off there. Not that it's really needed, but it was that or waste a bunch of orbs. All right. So Super Baby 2 is pretty much done. This was the easiest one of them all thus far. But then again, this team is... Stupid OP. Stupid OP. Alright. Probably should have saved that, but it's all good. It's all good. Alright. Next up, we're moving on to level 2. That does mean that we finally have everything done here for at least the, the, the weekly. So I'll get my weekly uh, battlefield memory and all that stuff. That's the good news. I could actually wait in level 2, but I'm not going to. Because I want my, uh, want my uh, dragon stones for it. Here we go. 
All sorts of rewards. Minute 43. Didn't even feel like it took that long. All right. Let's move on. Now, physical Dr. Garrow. This one is the one that's a little... Should I say intimidating? Not really. But I'll show you the team that I built here. Okay? Now, first Janimba. You'll notice Janimba's his... Uh, he doesn't have the little key icon down here next to Rakshaw's Claw. So that means he's a physical type. Now if I go over here to uh, Rose, Rose is physical as well, but we're not going to use him. What we're going to use is we're going to use this 17, but I need a subleader. I need the subleader, and I don't remember. He's 70% because I don't have him doconed. Oof. So we're going to use the 90%, I believe. Yes, we're going to use the 90%. So we got both the Brolies, both of them. Now, we're going to only get the 12 key off with him because the 24 key is a uh, key-based attack. I know it's an AoE attack, and it's not a very strong attack in comparison, but it's a physical attack. It's going to be fine. His is physical. You can see, still no key icon. If you want to see the difference in the key icon, if you're still not familiar with how this works, if I go to details here, see Omega Blaster has that little blast wave over there. That... That is the key icon. Notice it's not up there. It would definitely be right down here next to Giant Meteor. It would be right there if it existed. So it is not there on that unit. Now, Cell is interesting. He says Solar Kamehameha is key-based. His Both of them are. This one is not, so we're going to be aiming for 11 key. That is going to make this a little difficult. That is going to make this a little difficult. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But it's the team I built because I'm an idiot. Now, interesting fact. This unit, this is an SR. This is an SR than the Dokans. But I think he's going to come in handy because of his uh, key changing ability. And uh, his attack and defense is garbage. He's not going to be useful for that. But I put him on here for his key changing. He's a bit of a gamble, but he also still does physical attack. So... Hopefully, hopefully we can use all that to help negate uh, getting that 12 key from on, uh, on Cell. I know Cell's a gamble. I know he is. There are better units to put on here, but I made my choice. Sometimes I like to play the game a little dangerously because I think it's fun. And I'm probably a little stupid, but I'm going to have my fun. All right. So we got key change right off the bat. We are going to have absolutely no problems with... Uh, Getting orbs on this team. Bada bing, bada boom. Six key. And six key. Now, I'm not so worried about getting his super attack off. So, I'm going to use this as just an opportunity to drop down some orbs. Boom. Okay. Notice he's not on rotation. Uh, he'll probably get hit fairly hard. Hopefully, he doesn't get supered. But he'll probably get hit hard-ish. And I do need a doke on that Maja Vegeta. I, I know... I completely forgot about it, but he's still he's still really good, so even in his undocon form. Alright. Not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage here though is the only downside. This team that I built really doesn't do very much, but it's what we got. It's basically a way to uh, give ourselves type advantage, but still not have to like worry about what's going on with everything else. Alright. So, three key. Boom! That's going to be absolutely perfect. I do know that's an AoE, but again, we're not losing sleep over what's an AoE and what isn't. Um, we'll do that. That does mean Broly is not getting a super attack off, and that stinks, but that's okay. All right. So, 543k, he'll hit for about a million, give or take. Oh, not even. Oof. What the heck happened there, my man? Alright, that's okay. janimba has got her back. Get it, Janimba. Get that. Get that crit. No crit. Damn. Broly with a base attack. That's a hide. That's actually preferable in some circumstances, because Broly actually... Uh, he can sometimes have a bit of a deficit in his attack damage. Alright, I'm going to put Broly there. I'm going to give Majin Vegeta just a base attack. And I'm going to go ahead and feed Broly all of this. 
because that's way too much key and that's actually going to hurt okay uh 17 is going to get that and once again i don't think it's going to do a whole heck of a lot but burly major vegeta link up really well in this just nature of the rng nature of the rng and i didn't really think about it in the previous rotation so it's all good we're, we're, it's done anyway i mean is 17 gonna finish it up i don't know he might not have the power let's see oh he did not have the power that's cool is if much of had gotten his super attack would have been a done deal that's okay all right now we need three key for uh ooh, one key i'm gonna move him off though and so three key would give him a super but i'm not even gonna fart around with that there's no point in toying with it because janimba will kill him janimba's got this in the bag all right so not the not the best team not the prettiest team but definitely a functional team that just took him apart so when we hit we hit when we didn't we didn't and i just kicked over my water bottle so that gives you an idea of what you're kind of dealing with here um we'll go ahead and we'll take on super 17 because super 17 is the only one i'm a little concerned about not really but sort of so we'll go take a look at him next okay We'll just rip through uh, Dr. Mew. I don't think Dr. Mew is going to be a problem. He just can't be uh, sealed or stunned. And we have an int team that will just take him apart at the seams. Alright. Boom, boom. Int extreme. 120 lead. I think he's the 100%. Yep, I was right. He's 100%. Boom, 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 boom. And I do know that I've got a lot of Saiyans on this team. I could probably use that. Um... Uh, I mean, whatever. It's He's key four, right? So, it is what it is. This team's just going to take this apart, though. This team is going to utterly destroy this event. All right. Let's go, Mew. Let's go. We're going to have no problems with key. We're going to have no problems with uh, getting super attacks off. Let's see how well these two link up, because I don't think I've ever used them. Oh, yeah, very well. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Four key. Four key. Now, we got a bit of a... That's okay. That's all right. Mmm. No super attack rim, are we? No, no, no. We got super attack. Okay, perfect. I kept thinking he had six key, not seven. But I, once again, I forgot that we get four key from, uh, from Bojack, so... Great. How much damage are we going to do? Oh, he's reversed still, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's reversed. Oof. Oof. That's okay. Mistakes were made. Alright. Not a bad hit for a free-to-play LR. And Goku Black, who I honestly don't think I even have orbs in. I've just never used this guy. This is just a great opportunity to throw him on a team that he should work well on. Only 600k. Damn, I was expecting more out of them. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting a bit more out of them. Okay. He does not link up. Interesting. Interesting. Not in a good way either. Alright. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. And I think we're only getting the 12 key super with Bojack. That is truly unfortunate. It's a thing. It's a thing. Bojack clearly isn't linking up well on this team. That's not something I foresaw. I just kind of built what I thought would be a really OP team. Again, looks like we're having some issues that weren't really foreseen. That's okay. Boo's got our back. Double crit for us, Boo. Double crit, please. They're not in the mood to do it today, are they? Like, these units that, like, double crit all the time, they are just not in the mood to perform. Alright. Turn three. 
That's a little embarrassing. We should have taken it on turn two. Oof. That's all right. Um, I'm going to sacrifice his super attack. There we go. And, yeah. No you supers on this turn either. Man. I really thought with that much key we'd have you supers coming out. Or wazoo, but... It's alright. Oh, we're still taking damage. I'm sitting here griping because we didn't, you know, basically one-shot the event. Oh, life hard. Man, look at that. Had to go three full rotations to wipe out this enemy. Life hard. Life extreme, extremely hard. All right. Moving on. We'll do Super 17, and then we'll call it, and I'll leave level 3 up to you guys. We talked about level 3. Level 3 is pretty straightforward. Uh, this AGL Super 17, though, is the only thing I'm really... It's kind of an unknown for me. So, he shouldn't have... He, he should never have type disadvantage. Basically, it's like fighting Gogeta, more or less. So, it... Any team I take in here should be on about equal footing. So it's a good time to actually bring like a category team or something. But I'm still just going to try to take it apart with my super tech. I'm going to see if my super tech can do it. Uh, I know they're not going to get any boosts, but it's just personal curiosity at this point. Alright. So there's my leader. Who am I going to use as my sub-leader? Uh, I don't remember who I was using my sub-leader. No, I take the back. Yeah, those two are my leaders. Because after his EZA, he does key for attack and defense 100. That's right, that's right. And we're going to throw on this team these guys. Roshi, because he's excellent. Them. And I sh should save them. I should save them, but I'm going to throw them on here. All right, Lego. So now I believe my understanding is he can actually be stunned. So that's going to help us out immensely. If we can actually get the stun with him, that's going to be a huge, huge benefit. Uh, unfortunately, I do not see a super attack in our future. Or a U-super, I should say, in our future. It is just not in the cards. Oof. I mean, we, we can get one with, with him, but... I mean, for what good that actually is. Alright. So we did not get a U-super with Gofrizo. That's truly unfortunate. Okay. Ooh, that's not a bad hit. I'm not worried about a hit like that. Nah. Okay. So we got one uh, one mil attack stat. So we shouldn't hit for much more than a mil. Even with a crit, we only hit with a mil. Ooh. His damage mitt is pretty out, out, out of this world. Another mil attack stat. Wish we'd have gotten to you super with it. Desperately. Wasn't in the cards, though. Ooh, 800k. Oh, man. Yeah, Mr. Satan ain't gonna do nothing on this team. Alright. That's truly unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Alright, go tanks. I need... Oh, man. He needs 4-key. He needs 4-key to work. That's perfect. Um... Hmm... Roshi, I need your attack more than I need Tech Goku's. So we're going to do that. If you haven't seen how Roshi works, Roshi is an absolute beast. Alright, Tech Gotenks actually taking... Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, he actually tanks a little bit now. He's way better than he was. 1.88. So we should get like 1.5 unless he crits. And he crit for two mil. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
I wish he'd gotten his double attack there, but oh well. All right, Roshi, what you got? 1.8 mil attack stat out of Roshi, and he is guaranteed to stun. Now he's going to be worthless for the rest of the fight, but it is now our fight to behold. So let's do this. Um, nope, I'm going to keep them in the center. I'm going to feed him. The goal is to then drop down key for them. So we'll do that. And let's see how this do. Is that a U super? That is a U super. Perfect. We're done with this. What happened to your stun? Oh, it's only a stun for one turn. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that caveat. That's okay. You see, he did good damage, and we just threw him away pretty much at that point. You just put him off rotation, let him do it the one time, and since we're, you know, three turns in every time, ain't no big deal. But you see the damage bin on this guy? So it really doesn't matter who you run. Just pick your kind of your best team and go at it. Uh, he's actually he's done a good amount of damage to us. I'm not gonna lie. I am a little surprised, but once again, it's a thing. Probably should have brought my Patara team if I'm honest, but that team took it apart. Okay, uh, level three once again is pretty straightforward. Those are really the only question marks I had here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it there. It's already been a long enough video. If there were, Those were the big question marks in there. Uh, that guy especially, but he wasn't really that much of a challenge. So, except I did get hit pretty hard, but I think that was just my carelessness. So there you go, guys. That is the new battlefield. Uh, go ahead and uh, just go ham on level three. Shouldn't have a problem with that if you follow my methodology. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. If there are any weirdness, I'll go ahead and edit it in here at the end, but I don't foresee that happening. So that's going to be the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow the Birdman. Hit me up on Booker. I'll be back with more Dokkan Battle here in just a bit of time.